Hi everybody, it's Jeff. This is going to be part 8 of the uh, Hobbybots GMC Bofors truck build dedicated to Jim Steen. Uh, in the last uh, video we got most of the chassis finished. I've got a couple of little pieces left to put on. Uh, nothing much and then we're going to start working on the cab. Okay, I've also got the tires painted and the wheels primered. So let's go down the bench and I'll show you where we're at. Okay, be right back. Okay, uh, as you can see I've got lots of pieces prepped and ready to go. These are almost all just for the cap. Okay, um, here's the tires. I painted those on the rubber black. And then I went ahead and painted the spare and there's one extra wheel or one extra tire. It doesn't include a wheel, but I went ahead and painted it anyway. So those are finished and ready to assemble. Here are the rims all in uh, primer. These are all the pieces that make up the rims. Okay, so I'm not going to paint these until I start painting some more of the the olive drab and then I'll just do them all at the same time. So there's that's all the rest of the pieces to do the wheels. Okay. Um, on the instructions, let's let me go over here real quick. The last few pieces we have are these uh, hooks that go on the front bumper and these arms, the levers for the shock absorbers. They do want you to install the hook on the rope on the winch now, which I'm not going to do till step 18. So I'll save that back. So these little hooks we need to make up. There's, they're in two pieces. Let me get this back over here real quick. Okay, let's see, that's the little levers for the shock absorbers, and here's the hooks, and boy are they tiny. Okay, I'm sure you guys can't really see them. Let me, um, I can go ahead and go to the other camera. Let, give me just a second here. And we'll see what we can do. We'll go back here and switch this to. There we go. Okay. These are definitely tweezer uh, material here. Here's the little hooks. And here are the little bases. I can get them. Okay. There they are. That's all the pieces there. Let's see if we can't put these together real quick. I believe the, yeah, the hooks are turned this direction. I haven't test fitted these. I hope they fit all right. It doesn't look like they quite do. Okay, I'm going to have to open those holes up just a little bit. They're just a little bit too tight. You can see how tiny those are. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that off camera 
and uh, I'll be right back and I'll show you. Okay? Thanks. Okay. There we go. Those were really fiddly, but I got them on there. Okay. Look, I got a little white tag. Yeah, that, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and switch back to the other camera. Well, we could probably do it on this camera. Let's see. These will go on here. They go approximately here and here. There's no locating pins. So I'm just kind of guessing. Let's put a little drop of glue just like right there. Okay, there's one. I'm just kind of guessing at the location. Okay. There we go. Then I've got two little um, these little arms. Here. It doesn't really not sure where that actually supposed to set. Let me look at the instructions a little bit closer. And okay, it's like it sits on top of the spring. So it would go kind of like that. Okay, there we go. And then we got one on the other side also. Whoop. Hmm. Definitely tiny. Okay, I think that's pretty well going to finish the chassis off. Okay, so I'm going to show you one other thing real quick while I got this. 
the uh, the way the instructions are. Let me set this down. This is the brake drum, and this is the brake backing plate. They want you to glue that to the inside of the tire. I know you can't really see it. Um, the inside of the rim. I think that's kind of to capture the the uh, poly caps. But I prefer to glue these on here. I think that'd be a much better idea to glue these on here than to uh, glue them on the wheels. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. and then the poly cap will go be on the on the wheel and it'll slip right in that spot so I'm going to go ahead and just do all of those off camera and then I'll set this aside and let it start to set up okay and then uh, I'll come back and I'll show you we'll start putting the cab together alrighty guys I'll be right back Okay, here's the chassis with the brake drums on. I like that idea better than the way they had it. And I've got my little hooks and the other little arms for the shock absorber. So the chassis basically is ready for primer, from what I can tell. I'll check things over again really close before I do it, but just um, just to make sure there's not anything else needs to be attached. Okay. Um, that should be pretty much the end of step four. Let's flip over here real quick. This is step four. We've got all this done. Okay, we did not do B43. So I highlighted that in yellow to remind me and made a note. So all this here is ready to go. Step five is the, let's see here, let's back this out. Step five is the tires and the wheels, and uh, we've gone about as far as we can without uh, painting some of the olive drab. Okay, the next thing is the windshield. And the uh, windshield has got a couple of really, really tiny parts. I'm not going to do the clear yet. I'm going to paint this before I install the clear. But we can go ahead and make up most of these pieces. Uh, more really tiny stuff. <laughs> this has a couple of, um, let's see, let's go back here. Here's the frame. There's a couple of brackets that go on the sides. And then there's a couple of uh, windshield wiper motors that go here. As I recall, these have vacuum-powered wiper motors. So if you're going up a hill, the wipers don't work hardly at all, and you're going downhill, they just go like crazy. It's my, is my memory of them. Okay, um, we could go ahead and do the close-up camera again on these. I think. So let me do get that set up. And we'll be right back, okay? Okay, we've got a couple of real small, whoops, little motors, or little pieces that go here and here. Those are the wiper motors, and then we've got a couple of brackets that go on each side. That's basically the adjustments for, I, I, as I, 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 I'm not familiar with this particular model, but in some of them the windshield would open. 
so you could get some ventilation. So I'm thinking that that's what those are for, is just to hold the windshield open. Of course, in this, it's not functional. But let's go ahead and get these little wiper motors on here, and they are really tiny. Let's see, I'll just stick them here. And here. That way I can get a hold of them. Just try and keep that with the uh, tweezers. And let's see. Okay. Turn that one around. course I'm chasing it I'm trying to get it and it goes this way as far as I can tell mm-hmm once again all right There we go. There's one of them. There's the second one. Make them look straight as I can get them. Okay. There we go. Okay, there's our wiper motors. And then we've got these brackets that need to be put on, or these little arms. They're going to go here. Let me see if I can Nope, I can't set them there, so I'll have to put a little touch of glue on. From the instructions, that's, I think that's where they go. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay. There's our windshield frame until we get the paint on and then we can uh, get, the, get the clear plastic in. So I'll set this aside and let it dry and we'll move on. Okay. Let me, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, uh, we're working on step seven now, which is the cab. We've got a lot of uh, little levers and things to go in the floor, B42, and then uh, the steering column and the um, gear shift lever too. Now, 
Hobby Boss uh, missed another part on their instructions. Uh, there's no gas pedal showing on the instructions or accelerator pedal. It's in the kit. It's part B42. So uh, go look at your sprues and you'll be able to find it. But um, if you just look at the picture here, uh, there's no gas pedal. So let's go ahead and I've got all these parts ready to go. We can get these put together. Uh, I want to try and keep this in a couple of sub-assemblies for uh, painting purposes. But I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the uh, overhead camera because the parts are a little bit bigger. All right, be right back. Here's part uh, B32, the floor for the cab. You'll probably never see these, but I went ahead and filled the ejector pin marks on the back side. Just one of the things I generally do. Uh, I'm going to set this in a uh, holder. Something like this. Give me a second to figure it out. Or is how I want to grip it. Let's see here. That ought to work. Okay, we've got a lot of little pieces that need to be added. Uh, gear shift levers and that type of thing. None of them difficult. No, there's these. Okay. I tend to work from the parts that are farthest away to closest away. Um, just so I don't get in my own way. Here's the gas pedal. No, excuse me. This is the clutch or the brake. They're all pretty much the same and I'm gonna have to use tweezers on these okay it's not the best Yeah, let me get a little glue in there. Okay. Here's the other one. Okay. Um, the gas pedal, which is B42, is right here. Put a little glue. Just enough room to get it in there. Okay. Put another spot of glue on that. On the real truck here, off up on the dash, there would be a button. And that would be what you would push to activate the starter. 
but I don't think you'd ever see it, so I'm not going to scratch build it. Okay, just checking out what we've got going on here. B26. up a little bit yeah B26 will go here okay B3 which is the emergency brake it will go And then this is D12, B12, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not sure just what it's for. It might have something to do with running the winch or something, but it goes next to that. little snug just a little glue on here there we go okay and then we have E24, which is the gear shift lever. Let's see. I'm fairly certain that this truck would have a non synchronized transmission. Most of them did back then, which basically means that you need to double clutch. Uh, every time you change gears. Truck drivers will know what I'm talking about. This will go here. Get that out of there for a second. Okay, drop it, break it now. There's our, uh, there's our interior, the main part of it. Let's move along here. Then we've got some seats to make up. Now what they want you to do, um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They want you to put the seats together and put them on this base, which is B39, and then put the whole thing in here. Um, the seats need to be painted a different color. So I'm going to put this in, and then I'll paint the seats separately, and then I'll put it in once, once they're all, all done. Let's see here, let's just get a little glue in a couple of spots to kind of tack that in. Okay. And we'll Doesn't take a whole lot to hold it.
Okay. That's going to do that. And uh, here's the seats. Let's move this out of the way. The seats are, there's only two seats in the front. Basically, it's a, they're, they're, they're really, really lacking in detail. I don't know if I can do anything with them as far as, um, you know, weathering. I'm assuming there's a slight, yeah, there's a slight angle to them, not very much. Let me go ahead and put these together and we'll put these aside until we can get the get them painted. Just give it a second here. Okay, there's one. Okay, and there's two. Okay, I'm going to set these aside until we get a chance to do some painting. Okay, so let's take a look. Just following it, the directions along. Okay, they want you to put the firewall in which is a real positive fit. Okay, just like that. Pretty easy. Doesn't look quite centered. Okay. There are some ejector pins on the inside of this, but they're going to be in places where you won't see them. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's move along here. We've got a little, it's a real delicate little piece they want you to put on the front here, which I'm not going to do yet. I don't want to break it, but they want you to put the back on this. And I'm not going to do the steering wheel yet because uh, it's going to be a lot easier to get those seats in there with that steering wheel gone. There's the steering wheel, and there's that real delicate little piece. I'm not sure just what it is. It might be a vent for the differential or something. I'm not real sure. Let's go ahead and get this on. And then we're going to need to get the uh, sides on to, to uh, make sure everything's in alignment. Because this, you really don't have a positive alignment for this. Okay, it's just kind of sits there on the back. So there's there's no way of knowing the exact angle until we get the sides on, which I've got right here. Okay. Let's see. Might be easier to put the glue on here.
Okay. And then we've got two sides. He's spitting a little groove. Come on. Everything fit good when I tested them. There we go. I test fit all this stuff before I put it on camera, or at least I try to. I may not get 100% of it. Okay, and that joint looks really good. Hold that for a second. And the other side. Whoops, come on. There we are. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little bit of studying on lighting. I see I got all kinds of shadows right here. Maybe I need lights from over my shoulder or something. The two lights I use now, one is right there and one is right here. Probably both of them are about a foot away from where I'm working. But I get an awful lot of shadows. I really don't know much about lighting, but I guess it's something I should really spend some time with. There's the cab uh, to that point. Now they want you to put in the dash. I'm not going to do that yet because I want to paint it. There's no decals, there's no instructions or anything about how this should look, but uh, I want to do what I can to, to bring out some, some detail in that. So I think it can be slid in later. You know, it can be can be dropped in. I'm not even sure where the locating pins are for it. Oh, I don't think I have all the parts in there yet to do that. But anyway, yeah, the, the, the uh, dash will be a separate project all on its own. Okay, so we're to that point, and I'm going to leave the dash, and they want you to put the radiator together. The radiator is pretty simplified. It doesn't have, there's a little bitty radiator cap right there. It doesn't have any locating pins or anything, so you're just kind of guessing on the alignment. Okay, there's there's no way of really having a getting it positive. I see I got a little nib there I still need to sand. Okay. So let's 
Where did I put it? Here we go. Let's do this. Bring this up here. And this is slightly curved on the top, and so is this. I could use some of that rebel contacta. Would be good for a big surface like this. This will work. See, and I'm showing there's glue in the center there, which you're not ever going to see it anyway, but I need to go up. Oops. Stick it. Very good. Yeah. It slipped pretty good there. Well, to do it in my fingers. Okay. That's about as close as I can get it. And then we have a little radiator cap to put on there real quick. If I can get a hold of it. <laughs> okay. Very, very tiny. You can see some sanding marks in the top there, so I'll go over those. Okay, that's got our radiator. Next thing will be getting the sides together. Okay. Um, something I need to do. These are the sides of the hood I guess you'd call them and for detail which you're not really going to see uh, they've got a piece of photo etch uh, like a channel iron to put in right here and they have to be bent so I haven't done that yet I can show you um, the pieces okay I already got them out here we are It's these two strips right here, and there's a fold line that goes right straight through the middle of it. Um, I'm going to anneal those, and I'll I'll probably do this on camera because I've already showed you guys, you know, the annealing process and everything. But I'll make those up, and then I'll come back and I'll show you. We'll get them installed. These are part PE9. They're both the same. They go inside the engine compartment, but they need to be folded to a 90 degree. Okay, so I've already annealed these, and I've cleaned them with my fiberglass pencil. So I could use something like this. It might work okay, but I think it'd be better to go ahead and use this um, get a lot more accuracy with this let's go ahead and see what we can do with these it's important to when you're when you're doing a 90 degree or less bend you want to bend toward the fold line. If it's more than 90, you want to bend away from the fold line. So let's go ahead and boy, well, this thing's dirty. Haven't used it in a little while. Let's see if we can get this in here. Put the widest side in. We can 
use the razor blade to line it up with that little hole line. I think that's pretty good. Take your time, there's no rush. Okay. Okay, that looks really good. Let's see how we do. Just use something like this. Do it in stages. It's really hard to bend stuff this close to the fold line. I think we'll be okay. sharp nice sharp fold it looks like I quite tight okay here's uh, b29 and b28 with the photo edge installed okay it was no big deal really um, the photo edge is pretty small was kind of tricky to bend but adds just a little slight little bit of detail okay so let's go ahead and get this stuff put together and we'll have the cab mostly done what we need to do is let me see this goes for this side this will go here just like so fits pretty good Okay, and I'm seeing an issue. That photo etch is hitting up against the firewall here, even though I put it in. Maybe it should have been a little bit farther forward. Yeah, I think it'll be. I think it'll be okay. Okay, let's get this glued in. I want to get some glue on here. Just a little bit back here. Okay, hold that a second. Okay, same thing on the other side. Doesn't quite want to go in the slot. There we go. There it is. Okay. And then we have the uh, cowling go on top. I'm not sure. Yeah, the uh, instrument panel should fit in there just fine. So it's a little bit high. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd like to have a little bit better fit than that. It's not the best fit. Yeah, I'm not real crazy about that. I'm going to trip the camera off and I'm going to do a little bit of looking here. See if I can improve it a little bit. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and cut the hood out and cleaned it up just to check for fit. Center-wise, it fits really good. You know, it's not one way or the other. The gap across here is really good. The part that I'm not really crazy about, and I cut these out just to test, um, there's a pretty good gap. If I can get that back in there. There's a pretty good gap here on both sides. Yeah, pretty good. I might <coughs> add a little piece of plastic to the bottom of the hood and sand it just a little bit and try and get rid of that gap. We'll see. But other than that, yeah, it, it's pretty good. And you can see those are the photo etch in there. Okay, so that's going to pretty well finish the cab up except for the the uh, instrument panel. We'll leave that until uh, I get it painted up and then we'll slip it in. So I think that's going to do it for right now. Um, I tried to fit this on the engine and the radiator hose is causing me a little bit of an issue. So I'll have to work on that. It almost goes, but not quite. So I'll work on that separately. But that's where we're at right now. Okay. So you guys all have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Okay? See you later. Bye-bye.